everybody welcome back in our last video we created we installed MySQL and PHP onto our Ubuntu server so let's go ahead and install PHP MyMin so we're gonna bring back up our console here and I'm just going to as we've been doing all along we're just gonna copy and paste this in here Install PHP MyMan. We're gonna hit yes. So we can just go ahead and hit enter here. Now we're gonna say yes here. Password of the database administrator user. I'm just gonna type in this, uh, a password and then the application's password. I'm just gonna use that and this okay now we need to add it to our apache.config so I'm just going to nano into it and then when I go look for it it's, we're just going to add it at the bottom so there's a command to go all the way to the bottom but I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type include. Well, we'll just copy and no, I'm just going to type include etc php my admin and apache.config. Enter. And then control O to save it. Let me make sure I've got it right here. Looks right. And now we're gonna exit. And now we need to go ahead and restart our server. So edit and paste this, or we can just type it in, but start our server. So now if we go to our actual IP address. We can go into PHP my admin, PHP my admin, and there we go. But we don't want this. We don't want somebody to have access to our PHP admin. So we're gonna add some security. I'm just gonna go back to our server here, and then we're gonna continue. not the right window. So I'm going here and I'm going to copy that and we'll edit that in here. Paste. And now we want to go down to right here where it says user share. Right here I'm going to add Wow. Okay. Wow. Right. All. And I'm gonna hit Control O. Enter to save. Control X to leave it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and create my a uh, HD access file. So grab it here. And paste it here. So edit, paste, and I'm just gonna grab this here, copy it. Actually, I'm not gonna copy it. Just, we're going to just type it out. So auth type basic auth name is. Restricted files, auth user file, and I'm just going to say mm, user pass and dot 
HT pass. I haven't made that directory yet. We'll do it next. So user pass the HT password. That's good. And then we'll require valid user. Okay, now I'll hit control O and save that. Control X to exit out. Next, we're going to go ahead and create that. So, the HT access file, so I'm going to say sudo ht password dash c, and it's going to be user. Actually, let's go ahead and make the directory first. So, I don't know if this is going to make it or not. So, I'm just going to make directory user forward slash pass. Okay, now we can do sudo. T password dash C and now we can say user pass um, dot HT password and then a username I'm just going to say falling down 2005 enter and no such file directory so let's See if we can change directory into that. Do user pass. So that it actually is there. So let's try it again. Just file or directory. Typing in, for some reason it's typing in a forward slash, so sudo ht password, let's do it again, dash c, and user pass ht password. I think it's because that forward slash was in front of sudo, so that, and there we go. I'm just going to type in a password. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it until. Okay, so now if we go back and go into. Actually, we'll probably have to restart it first, but let's see. HP My Admin. And yes, we're going to have to restart the server. So let's go ahead and scroll up and see if we can't find it. So sudo server after restart. And now if we go back in here and. Now it's going to ask us for this password. So let's go ahead and go back to here and back in the PHP admin, it's going to ask you for username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my username and my password. It's going to take me here and then I'm going to type in my username is going to always be root. I'm going to type in my password and there we go we are in here and we can go ahead and make like a database so so the next I'm, not, I'm going to go ahead and add it in here we're going to go ahead and add a FTP server to it so we can upload our files so to do that I'm just going to back up here I'm going to go down here and click on Install an FTP server. And we'll get this out the way. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And just go back out to here and hit paste. So now that's installing our FTP. Now we're going to open up and edit our configuration file. And paste it. And now we're going to go down to just follow the list. We're going to go look for anonymous. 
and that's already uncommented. Uncomment this. So write enable yes. Okay, uncomment this. Local enable yes. I'll go down and look for ch root, which is normally down near the bottom. So let's go ahead and look for that. So ch root local user yes. And now we can go ahead and save it. So control O to save, enter, control X to leave. We're not going to change any of this stuff, and we're just going to restart our, CU, our FT3 server. So copy, and paste. OK, so now with the exception of having a FTP client on your computer, now we're ready to upload our Laravel full files. So if you don't have an FTP client, I use FileZilla and you can find it just by typing FileZilla into your browser. Uh, FileZilla and then you know just download this client and it's 32-bit and it's three source forge. So but watch it because the installer has ads on it so just click no for the first two. I think there's two things that once it install on your computer, just click no on those, then click yes to install the actual server. That way you don't get something installed on your computer that you don't want. And in the next tutorial we'll go ahead and upload the files and hopefully finish up. And I'll see you there.